Hello everyone, this is the Edge Gateway 3000 series that's targeted at entry level IoT types of deployments in industrial areas and ruggedized environments. So this is one in a series of three versions of the 3000 series. This is the 3003 series that has video enabled on it. And it's video via a DisplayPort version 1.1. The other two in the series are a 3001 series that's geared toward general purpose automation and has various I.O. ports that are native to that type of environment, such as serial ports, etc. There's also a transportation version that has I.O. that's geared toward transportation like CAN bus. So one of the top questions that comes up is, hey, I've got this one display port, is it possible to have more than one display output out of it? And typically, based on the display port version 1.1 spec, that doesn't support daisy chain, so it, it's usually not able to support that type of output. But as you could see from my displays now, I, I am outputting mirror mode to two different displays and those are HDMI enabled displays. So if we take a look at the setup that I have, I have a display port to HDMI converter and then that's going to this gold little adapter that you see there and then that is going to a splitter that's basically splitting two HDMI signals, one to this miniature HDMI display and the other to this much larger HDMI display. You may wonder what, what is this gold um, adapter that, that we see here. Part of the problem with not being able to uh, provide dual display out of a single display port, particularly one that's version 1.1, is that um, each monitor essentially sends something called an EDID signal to the system when the system is booting up. When you have two displays that are connected via a split um, HDMI cable or pass and a passive one at that, essentially the, the system does not know how to read both of those signals coming in and what you get is, is no display. What that little gold box represents is it's basically an EDID emulator and what it does is it emulates a virtual display with its respective resolution and so forth in that little box so no matter what is connected behind it the system knows to output a signal and a signal that's based on the hard-coded information that's on that edid emulator and so what that gives us is a consistent output to two displays, even if the spec does not support it. The um, released version of the 3000 series gateway comes with Ubuntu Core 16. And so that's the operating system that we see here. So um, I think a more impressive display would be to show you as it's coming up from a shutdown instance. So let me go ahead and shut the system down and we'll go ahead and display the system coming up with dual displays in mirror mode. So there we have it, the system is shut down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and restart the system. So there we see the first sign that it's coming up. And there's our prompt. So if we want to log in, we're in. Both of them are showing our command line interface. And there you have it. So now let's move over to the Gateway 5000 series and prove that it could also work on, on that unit's native HDMI connector. Now that we've tested on the Gateway 3003, 
we'll go ahead and apply similar tests to our Gateway 5000 series. So what we see, the uh, key difference here is that we can go directly into the HDMI port with our EDID emulator there through to the splitter to each of our, our monitors. So now let's go ahead and hit our power button and make sure that we do get a, a consistent boot out of the two monitors. And so again, what this does is it, it allows for a consistent display out to two monitors in mirror mode. And it does that by essentially housing a virtual monitor's EDID information in the EDID emulator. We can just run a video just to make sure we're getting video out of both. And we are. And just to confirm one more time, let's shut down. We'll go ahead and boot it up one more time. Now, if you need something that can display extended desktop, your best bet is to go with a USB to whatever interface your monitor is, whether that's HDMI or what have you. DisplayLink makes a chip that allows you to effectively display out to a second display in extended mode. So if you want different content, if you're not doing uh, mirror mode, as we see here, mirror mode obviously is pretty attractive when you're doing kiosk type of deployments or anything that's displaying to multiple angles in a certain environment and the same content needs to be displayed. So there you have it. Thanks.